I was the one who had it all. I was the master of my fate. I never needed anybody in my life. I learned the truth too late. I'll never shake away the pain. I close my eyes, but she's still there. I let her steal into my melancholy heart. It's more than I can bear. Now I know she'll never leave me, even if she runs away. She will still torment me, call me, hurt me, move me, come what may. Wasted in my lonely tower, waiting by an open door. I'll fool myself, she'll walk right in and be with me forevermore. Yes, hello, warm greetings, everyone. Hello. Good morning in the Philippines right now, five o'clock. It is, yeah. And good afternoon, good evening, UK, and welcome here at German Nation PV. Phoebe, which stands for Perivision, because I'm sure all of you are watching now from your mobile devices, not on the tele, which is at a distance. Peri means we are close to each other, right? You're watching from your mom from your uh, mobile devices. And uh, welcome to Germination Hub, H-A-B, Health, Arts, and Business. This week, we have uh, most of my guests are mainly on the arts department of the show. So welcome again to our hub, no pun intended. <laughs> All right. So, and my name is Jeremy, and I'm your host for tonight. And here I'm here in London at the moment. So, and it's quite hot, actually. And uh, I take it that all of you are keeping safe and well wherever you are right now. So wherever you're watching from, please uh, comment on uh, on the box where, where, where you're watching from. And uh, always give some likes and loves. Give the thumbs up. Yeah. All right. So uh, June Patello watching from Crickle Wood, Mark Barton. Um, who else? Rans Batale Silverio, thank you for watching. Angela Shera Morales, Chuk Toy, thank you. Ella, Susinden, and Jan Villega. So, before I proceed, this is uh, like a tradition. Uh, whenever I uh, go on live stream on my Facebook, on this Facebook Live Germination PV. So, before we proceed, I just would like for all of us to take a minute of silence to remember those people who died of COVID-19 and those who are fighting for their lives. So just let's just pause for one minute and let's remember them and let's pray for them. I am the keeper of light. We are the keeper of light, so others will see it. So, moving on. That's it, our one minute, right? It's one minute. Okay, so, we have a very special guest for tonight. And I met our guest, special guest for tonight, back in 2013 in the Philippine Embassy. Because 
um, I come across this. Uh, I was looking for a uh, chatter group where I can because it's something that I would always that I always would like to pursue myself. So I was looking around uh, in our area. There's nothing because um, most of the chatter groups locally are just catering for like teenagers. <laughs> Back then, I was like already on my thirties. So I come across this. Uh, I was browsing in Facebook and I found uh, this group. And so I went to Philippine Embassy. I auditioned there and I met our special guest there. And then uh, the rest is history. I was uh, in one of his uh, productions. And um, let me just cancel that one so it doesn't interrupt us. So uh, he is the founder and the artistic director of the only active Filipino chatter group in the whole of Europe. And how did we find this out? There was actually uh, just a backstory. There's a, uh, there's a uh, master of students in film and arts, and he was researching about uh, all these groups. And he actually found out, he was the one who said, uh, who told us in our group that he, it is the, uh, the, this group, this chatter group is the only uh, Filipino based uh, chatter group in the whole of Europe. And of course, he's a playwright. And uh, without further ado, so are you ready for our um, guest for tonight? Uh, he said uh, he's the Pinoy Shakespeare. And if Shakespeare has got 37, he's got 28 <laughs> and counting. All right. So are we ready for our special guest for tonight? Let's all welcome Derek Ramon. Tenyoso, woo! Hello. Direct from Tenyoso. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you, Jer. Good. Can good, you hear me? Good, good. Yes, yes. Right, loud and clear, loud and clear. So, can you greet all uh, all our uh, viewers for tonight? Okay, first. Uh, uh, inviting so me to your program. Um, but also would like to uh, say hello to our friends from America, because I wow. know they're watching and listening now. Mm -hmm. uh, also some friends from Canada, which they wow. said they will also watch and listen. And then also we, our friend, my family and friends back home, of course, in Manila, in Philippines, in particularly in Iloilo. I know it's 5 a.m. there, 5 a.m. in the morning. So good morning. Yes. Mayong Aga. <laughs> and... Of course, to our uh, friends and supporters here in the UK, uh, I've seen some of some of their names, and uh, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, interview with uh, Jeremy. Thanks, Jeremy. Yes, we will. We will. We will. I'm sure they will. So before we proceed, we will have this quick fire questions just to warm you up. Ah! Right? <laughs> I'm worried you about this. You know? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for this? Just a uh, uh, quick fire questions. Okay. The first thing that comes into your mind, Derek, right? Okay. Okay. So, what's the last thing you Googled? Oh, uh, I think uh, the meaning of uh, germination. <laughs> oh, <that's good>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm thinking, okay, that was all right. That's okay. good. That's good. Okay. Apart from your face, which body part you look most in the mirror? Oh, uh, uh, probably my arms. Your arms? <laughs> I have no idea. Muscles? <laughs> probably muscles, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Have you ever been in a handcuff? Oh, several times. Oh, handcuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are the three things you need to do every day, the three things that you do every single day. Okay, first thing when I wake up, uh, I pray. The first okay. thing, I have to pray. Uh, and then second, I have to have a shower. Mm -hmm. And uh, third is, uh, you, you laugh at me, but uh, normally you know, I have a, a coffee outside, of course, and then feed the birds, there you are. I do that wow, every morning. Those are the three things I do. Yeah. Interesting. So, what's your 
favorite body part? Uh, from, I don't know, my eyes? Can I say my eyes? Why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Good. So what is the lie that you recently told? A lie? Yeah, that you recently told. Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, <laughs> because I hate lying. Eh? You know, I, 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 I don't lie. I'm a, I'm a bad liar, to be honest, Jeremy. Okay. You know, I'm on court. So, um, what? No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't said. That's okay. That's I'm okay. lying at the moment. No, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're lying now. <laughs> okay. Oh, exactly. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, moving on. What yep. would you tell? What would you tell your 12-year-old self? Right now, what would you tell your 12-year-old self? I'll tell my 12-year-old self to be who you are. Good. Well done. Yeah. Good, good. So, remember, Derek, uh, when we attend your workshops, right? I always remember mm. this out of the box. Out of the box. Yes. Remember? Now yes, I will, yes. You will be on the other end. I will do that one to you now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell the people what outside yeah. the box is okay. so they know. So out of the box is uh, every time we have a workshop, Yeah, before we start rehearsing in PT UK, Philippine Chatter UK, um, we have this exercise or workshop called uh, out of the box. So basically, uh, Derek will give us one topic and we will talk about it just for 30 seconds. Um, say for instance, I'll give, you, give him a topic, but he will just talk about it, but it doesn't need to be necessarily about the topic, isn't it, Derek? Is that correct? Yes, yes, correct. Okay, yeah, yes, okay. Correct. so let's start now, okay? Okay, okay. out of the box. Right. Out of the box, <laughs> ready, ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is how we feel before. <laughs> take a deep breath. Yeah, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Out of the box in 30 seconds, yeah. topic, body odor. Body odor, okay. Body odor is the latest uh, trend in uh, dancing. You know, it involves a lot of body movements from head to toe. And also it requires a lot of jumping. And then sometimes you have to sing while jumping, okay. It's kind of jazz dance that is really very physical. It's, a, it's almost a good exercise as well. And every time you do that kind of uh, exercise, you lose 500 calories. Wow. Imagine that. Exactly. Well, so it's really a good body part exercise. Okay. That's Thank it. you. Well done. <laughs> another one. Let's do another one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so you're sweating now. <laughs> I'm sweating here too. It's too hot. <laughs> okay. Okay. So out of the box, out of the box, okay. your topic, nose hair. Nose hair. A nose hair actually is a dish. It's a new dish in the Philippines. It's actually a kind of sweet and sour made from uh, the excesses of uh, chicken. Chick uh, and it's normally fried and then it's best served with vegetables. Okay. <laughs> and um, it's, uh, it, it varies from sometimes it could be sweet or sour. Or sometimes it could be a little bit dry. Good. Okay, so that's it. So the body odor. <laughs> yeah, that's body right. odor. Well done, well done. It's a new dish. It's a new dish. <laughs> so that's what we call out of the box. So you can just imagine how uh, daunting is that one, isn't it? I mean, we do it that just inside the room and it's just, but now we got a lot of viewers and we're live. <laughs> Well done, Derek. Thank you for being a sport. <laughs> okay. It's tough, so, actually. It's very difficult. If, if, even now, you know, I thought, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's actually, uh, the purpose of that one is actually to uh, train your creative uh, thinking and speaking, isn't it, Derek? I know, yes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. good. Cool. Okay. So, Derek, in one minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> in one in minute, two, okay. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Oh, goodness me. Parang ano to, no? I, I feel like... It's like a audition. workshop. Parang <laughs> workshop. <laughs> okay, uh, how do I... Okay, introduce myself. Okay, Just one minute. Yourself, yeah. yeah, one minute. Yeah. Okay, one minute. Okay. Uh, so, I'm the, the founder of uh, Philippine Theatre UK and Teatro Pilipinas. 
Um, I'm a playwright. I've written 28 plays in which all the plays that I've written are also produced, by the way. I, aside from the theater, I also work in a, you know, in a, in a gas company. So theater uh, normally takes most of my weekends writing. Okay, what else? That's it. Okay, good, good. So, Derek, thank you for that. So, yep. in one word, in one word. <laughs> <laughs> who is okay. who is I, I, I didn't I didn't get that question. Okay. In one word, who is yep. Derek Ramon Tinoso? Oh, one word. I would say creative. Creative. Good, great, great. So Let's now go to the, the Cheddar group that you founded, the Philippine Cheddar okay. UK, or, or what we know as the Philippine Cheddar, oh, PT UK. So PTUK. What, what inspired you? So when was, it, uh, when was it formed? How was it created? And what inspired you to oh, create to, Philippine mm -hmm. Cheddar UK? I think first, I mean, the, um, how much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Philippine Theatre UK has been you know in existence for the past eighteen years now. So, yeah. so I don't know, but okay, I'll I'll, I'll try in to summary, answer your question. Summary. Oh yeah, the summary lang. Okay, summary. Um, PTUK was created on September eight, two thousand mm -hmm. two thousand two. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, of course, with the help of some friends of mine, I think there were like ten of us. Okay, now the reason why the theatre was created because. Uh, before Philippine Theatre UK, I was a member of a different organization, and uh, this organ—I won't mention the name—but the, this organiz organization uh, yearly would produce like a um, a, uh, a short skit. No, so mm -hmm. short play, like, short skit, uh, like the legend of Mount Mayon or the legend or what have you. But it's not really a play because it's like a uh, skit, no? And yep. then I look at the history of our community years ago, and I found out that no one actually doing a proper theater. So in two, so I was still with this organization before PTUK was born. Mm -hmm. So I told this group that I would like to start a theater that will produce original plays, meaning a proper theater. Yep. And during my time, no one, no one was writing full-length play, as you know. To yep. write a full-length play is, is daunting. And also, who are you to do that? You know, I'm talking about 20 years ago. So they asked me, well, who will be the playwright and who will be the director? And I said, I'll do it. Yeah, no. So for me, because I realized there was the window of opportunity. And then also I realized that the theater has to be continued because there's no opportunity for Filipinos uh, during those years to experience theater. Mm -hmm. So uh, I realized, right, okay, it's about time to introduce to the group a, a new theater, a new community theater that will highlight the skills you know, of Filipinos in, in acting, in singing, in dancing, but in the theater format. Yeah, so that's actually how it started, you know. And of course, as you know, Jeremy, you're part of it. Uh, you, you, you know, the rest, as they say, it's history. Yeah. Realize that the theater actually survived no, for 18 years it's been you know wow yes amazing yeah, and uh, it is it is amazing it's very humbling humbling experience and also what i'm actually so happy is because the in the theater there's a lot of people who grace the theater no people like yourself for example uh Gina Alcantara, susan lovejoy uh alex alexander who else uh, 
various Filipino organizations like Kanlungan, Bahay Kubo. Um, there's a lot of not only individual Filipinos, but also um, through Philippine Theta UK, we're able to, shall we say, liaise yep. and um, work together with other Filipino uh, groups uh, in the UK. And and it's also because you know, one of one of the things that I would like to I would like to highlight is all the plays are in English. Yes. You know? <laughs> and people are surprised because you know, you know you call yourself Philippine Theater UK, and then when they watch the theater, the play would be in English. English. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, people are I think surprised were surprised, but. Uh, you know, I keep saying to the public that our audience are the British public. Okay, so I cannot just write Tagalog play because that will limit, you know, your audience. Exactly. Yeah, so the, hence the reason why all the plays I've, I have written are in English because I know our uh, major, uh, so we say, audience, you know, aren't only the Filipinos, but the British audience, you know. Uh, that's it. Good. You have written a lot of plays, direct, right? So, mm -hmm. what is your favorite one among all of them? Or anything memorable that sticks oh. out right now? Mm -hmm. How many do you want? One or two or three? <laughs> just one, just one. <laughs> I think for me, one although... One topic. I think even though Migrants is very close to my heart because it's been yeah. shown several times, it's made mm -hmm. now into a film as well. I think I um, I like Aswang actually the trilogy. Oh. Yeah, the trilogy Aswang because I'm sure you asked me why. You know, I think because Aswang was was quite different. First, mm -hmm. it's a I wrote it in English yeah. as a proper full-length play, which is quite different, isn't it? You know, and then the Aswan, when I wrote it, it wasn't commercial. Mm -hmm. Like the Aswan we know produced by commercial uh, film production in the Philippines, you know? Yeah. So it's not like that. So Aswan was written actually with a lot of research with a lot of educational elements, social, cultural, religious. And uh, I'm sure you know the story because you are one of the major actors in book one of Aswang. Mm -hmm. So, and then of course, uh, it was the first project by Philippine Theater UK using um, video, film. Yeah. Mixed media, yeah. Mixed media. So again, yeah. we raised the bar uh, actually, in terms of producing a play, you know, like you go to the theater, you know, uh, where the audience are on the stage, but at the same time you watch them, you know, on the film. So for me, that was really very innovative, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. So for me, as one, the trilogy, book one, book two, book three, you know. So, yeah, and I love that. I love that thing. Yeah, as one. Good, good, good. That's the reason actually why I, I joined as well, you know, uh, because I wasn't, uh, I was inactive for a few years. And then when you told me about the mixed media idea, that really yeah. got me sold into it, you know, coming back into it again. So um, I'm really proud to be part of it. So among all your plays, yeah, obviously you have worked with a lot of actors for 18 mm -hmm. years. Who are the top two that you, that is very memorable to you? That you have worked. I knew you're gonna say that. I knew you were gonna ask me that. Apart question. from me. <laughs> Apart from you. <laughs> of course, I have to mention you otherwise. I, one. <laughs> I put myself on the <laughs> uh, it's very difficult, yeah, Jerry, yeah. because that you have yeah, with it's very and why. And, uh, no, I think I, I, I can't mention only two. You know, yeah. because I think every every season or every year we have, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, my goal is to discover new talents. Yeah, you know, so it's it's very difficult to say I have a favorite. Uh, no, I don't, I think every all of you 
everyone who graced the theater since its conception from 2002 to present are, are, are good, actually. You, you know, you're all good in your own right because you have your moment, yeah. if you know what I mean. Like, it's very difficult, for example, to compare uh, the acting of uh, actors who were involved in, for example, Paternoster uh, to Azuang, to migrants, you know, because every play has also a different theme. Let's exactly. take, for example, From Heaven with Love. From Heaven with Love is a, is a musical drama. Now, that's very difficult. I know you remember because you are the lead actor there, Jeremy. Yeah. Now, it's quite different, right? because yeah. migrant is you drama tragedy drama, yeah 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 so no all 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 members of the theater are are, are excellent and i'm i'm so i'm so proud actually that i was able to train and work with how many actors in the back? i think yeah. 300 voluntary actors must be yeah <laughs> for for the span yeah. of 18 years <laughs> yeah so as a playwright direct who is your influence you know what? I asked myself that question two years ago. Mm -hmm. Do I have... You know what? Again, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to mm -hmm. lie to you. Mm, I don't. I don't. Uh, you know why? Yep. No. <laughs> because I... No, because I I don't have background in, 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 in writing. Remember that. Okay. Wow. You know, I'm... Um, what do you call that? Um, what's the, in English, Sarilin Sikap, uh, what do you call that? Um, Your self-taught, self-taught. Self-taught, yeah, it's exactly, yeah. a lot of people were surprised, you know, uh, that I never had background mm -hmm. in writing, you know, uh, although when I look back, I started um, storytelling as a kid, you know, but mm -hmm. actually writing, I realized, I started that when I was in elementary, to high school, to uh, my involvement in the church organizations, you know, in Project 7, where I grew up, under college, you know, but that's the kind of training I have. Okay. I graduated in drama arts, in RADA, or in exclusive schools, you know, with a degree in theater arts. No, no. My, as you know, my background is psychology, you know, but I've been writing... Since I think my, my first play was I was 13. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you know, things like that. So uh, who inspired me to write? I really don't know. Eh? It's just like, <laughs> probably it's a gift. It, yeah. You know. I was going to say it's a gift. If you believe in that, yeah. well, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> what is the shortest play that you've written, Derek? Oh, uh, uh, it's a, a play called uh, the greatest gift the greatest gift okay yeah it's a it's a, it's a 30 minute it's a christmas play actually okay yeah. how about the longest one that you've written i mean in the terms longest... of writing it not the length of the the play but uh, what i mean is the when you write it how long right. did it take you there the longest the longest of it um longest time it took you to write a play yeah, yeah, the longest. What will be the longest? Um, I would say Paternoster. Okay. Uh, Paternoster is the, the first, I don't know if everyone knows about it or if you know if you know it. Paternoster is the first Filipino play ever written that highlights the lives of Filipino seafarers. Mga seaman. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it starred Jin Alcantara. If you know, if you remember, if you know Jin Alcantara, Kuya Jin, no? Yeah. Uh, the reason why it took me a while to write that because I have to have to get facts. Mm -hmm. You know, because these are real lives of Filipinos, no life. So it's made on it's. I would say ninety percent of the play was based on facts. Yeah. And and that took me a while. Uh, probably doing, I did a like a three three months research 
you know, and then all in all, it probably I wrote the play for 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 four months. Oh, okay. For for, for three to four months. That's the longest. No, because as one for me compared to as one book one, mm -hmm. book, I wrote book one for thirty days. Can you imagine? Wow, <laughs> that one month. amazing! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it it depends sometimes on the nature of the play, on the concept. You know, like uh, Pater Noster for me was totally a new, a new, a new area in writing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know anything about seafarers, yeah. what they're going through. So I did also a lot of interviews during during wow. that time. Yeah, so Paternoster will be the longest in terms of, you know, your the writing, the duration. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. So, so PTUK. So recently you had Chatro Pilipinas as well. So you yeah. do like two productions, right? So what will be the <laughs> pros and cons in terms of production? You know, obviously uh, in the Philippines, you know, uh, it's different out there. It's different here. So how, how does it compare? In some uh, aspects, yeah. Tough. Tough, mm -hmm. difficult, but it's inspiring. It's um, their sense of fulfillment. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people when I introduce or announce that I'm going to create, you know, a theater group in the Philippines, mm -hmm. guess what? Everyone here in London, my friends said to me, you're crazy. You cannot do it. You know, how can you train actors in the Philippines? And how can you, you know, produce a play there? You're here. So, well, Sabiko, well, look, major decisions, you know, in finance worldwide are made, you know, using... Like this media, California, yep. you know. Yep. So, I, exactly, so I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I told them nothing is impossible. So okay. luckily I have uh, a good friend. Uh, her name is Remedios Fulgusino, who she is the managing director. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told her, she's my classmate in high school. And I said, right, let's create a theater in the Philippines. You manage it, you know. I'll give you the, uh, the play and everything. In, to make the long story short, is um, we created a, a group in the Philippines, mostly teachers. Oh, Can okay. you imagine that? Yeah. Teachers, uh, I would say 80% are teachers, 20% employees, no? And then the, the reason why I said it's tough because of the time difference. Yeah. The rehearsal is always Saturday, as you know. Mm -hmm. So Friday, instead of going for a drink, I can't. I can't yeah. go drink because I have to wake up early on Saturday. Yeah. So for example, 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm already awake. Mm -hmm. Because that's 3 o'clock after 3, 3 p.m. in yeah. the Philippines. Yeah. Can you imagine, you know, I'm having coffee while they are about, you know, like to enjoy the rest of the week, Saturday, kasi. Yes. So... The workshop, we will use um, Messenger and the other one, what's that? You know, what, uh, there's no Zoom yet. Yeah, yeah. What's the other one? Z uh, Messenger and another one, um, Skype. Skype, okay. Yeah, we will use Skype no, for training. So 8 o'clock, London time, 3 o'clock, Manila time. And then after two hours of workshop, I'll get ready. And then around 12 o'clock, I have to go to London for the rehearsal of PDUK. Mm -hmm. Oh, so wow. Can you imagine that? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So the whole Saturday for me will be like morning is Philippines. And then 12 o'clock, rush to London because we have the rehearsal of Ayo. Ayo, yeah. So, it was like, so I, I think members of PDUK didn't realize I was doing that on a Saturday, like even in the morning. Wow. You know, but it, it was tough for me because it's, imagine the whole day, eh? but it's, know, yeah. very, it's very fulfilling, very humbling, and you know that you're able to help people at ho back home, you know, because these are uh, teachers, employees who never had the opportunity, you know, to experience the theater. Yes. And, and you know, in the Philippines, it's so Burgess. You, you know, unless otherwise you're a member of 
I won't say the word, <laughs> of this famous group in the Philippines, you would never experience theater there. Yeah. You know that. So that's what I did. So to be, I, I broke that kind of thinking that it's possible. If you believe in yourself, nothing is impossible. Absolutely. Yeah. That's Absolutely. It. That's it. So you have a film, um, Migrants or Chain, right? So this, um, this film was originally a stage play that is now was uh, produced as a film, full end film. Mm. Right. So tell us more about that one, Derek. And um, which one would you prefer? Is it live theater or film? Right. Interesting. Okay. So we'll start from migrants. Uh, migrants is, and you know, we call it, you know, the the the, the, the theater group with the UK call, calls migrant uh, the play that won't go away. I think because of all the plays I've written, migrant is the one that's been produced. Can you imagine? Four times, mm -hmm. twice in the Philippines, and uh, I think twice here. Yeah. Yes, I see. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. It's Can you imagine that? Yeah. yeah. So it's. I think because migrant is so fluid in terms of story. Yeah. You know, and people can connect. Okay, so when I was approached by Zen Limuko, mm -hmm. uh, who actually was in charge of the film project, I said, yeah, okay, let's do it. So we, we, I have to uh, rewrite some, some of the uh, scenes. Of course, some of them have to be, what do you call, translated in Tagalog, no? Yeah. And I realized how difficult to translate <laughs> English words from Tagalog words, no? Because sometimes there's yeah. no exact... Translation, eh? Yeah. Um, it was good. And then after four years in the making, you know, I'm sure you remember you're one of the major characters in the film. The, the film actually was ready. We we have the finished project, uh, product. Uh, myself, the management, uh, we watched it last December. I think we, yes, we invited yeah, some members, no? Now we're about to join various international competition this year. Yep. There's a couple of them lined up around April, May, June, July. Unfortunately, yep. this thing happened. Okay, so uh, at the moment, everything is like, okay, freeze. <laughs> okay, yeah, but definitely we will continue with the project. Yep. No? It's slowly so going back to normal now. Yeah, if everything, you know, there's a lot of things. And going back to your question of um, which do I prefer, film or theater? Is that right? Is that the question? Yep, yep. Uh, I think with that, again, I will not lie to you. Mm -hmm. I prefer stage. I'm I'm a playwright and I, in as much as I, would, I love films, I love the theater. Because it's live. It's live. I know, yeah. It's like, you know, films, you can buy DVDs or what have you, you know, and then you lose the magic, you lose the drama. Yes. In theater, no, it's live. That's the reason why, yeah. you know, we have theater land in London. Yeah. Yeah. And no, so for me, yeah, I prefer theater. Theater, yeah. So, in connection to what you've said, because of, you know, uh, what happened, right? For the last yeah. 90 days. So what is the future of PTUK after the pandemic? What's in Well, store? actually, I'm glad you, you asked me that question because currently, this is actually, I haven't announced to the whole Philippine Theater UK group, but now everyone's listening. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they know it. They know it now. You're, even yourself. Well, what's the, what's the future? Um, first is... Um, Philippine Theatre UK has liaised and networked with uh, Kanlungan Filipino Consortium. Mm -hmm. Now, a Kanlungan Filipino Consortium, uh, I mean, this is an, um, uh, a consortium of various organizations, Jeremina, uh, like Bay Kubo, Campaign for Human Rights, the FWA, Tanglao, uh, who else? Gabriela, 
Bayanihan, PTO. Okay, there's quite a lot of Pinoy organizations under Kanlungan. Now, we actually, um, Kanlungan was able to secure a project. Uh, it's called the Pink Transcript. Hmm. It, yeah, it's actually a very interesting project because it it's, it highlights or it, the experiences uh, of the LGBT Southeast Asian groups, no, and their friends. Yeah. So it's not just the LGBT, but also the friends, uh, and these people uh, who, for example, their their their, their experiences, not uh, if they have um, what's what's the right word I'm looking for. Um, if they have, if they experience discrimination, you know, sexual harassment, things like yeah. exclusion, racism, uh, so this will be incorporated in a form of uh, like a transcript, you know, and then people will be able to experience this uh, as a member of the group. And then there will be sessions. And then uh, we will produce a, uh, a, a theater production afterwards. So there will be storytelling techniques, uh, live drama, interactive uh, storytelling. So there's a lot. It's, it's a very, very a lot of, uh, in the pipeline. <laughs> vibrant. After, yeah, vibrant. Yeah. This is actually uh, funded. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's right, a fun, yeah. it's, yeah, it's a, a very good uh, uh, project. So it's called The Pink Transcript, Documentary Theater and Drama Therapy. So the end result is actually to produce uh, a play. Yeah, but then aside from that, uh, Kanlungan uh, Philippine Consortium will be working with Philippine Theater UK in producing, uh, hopefully next year, um, Paternoster. Wow, yep. Yeah, we will Pretty revive stinging. again. And we don't know yet. So again, we are reviving, you know, uh, Paternoster, the first Filipino play about seafarers. So that I'm rewriting it, uh, updating, you know, uh, so that- Making all, it current. Exactly, all you know, issues are current. And uh, that's actually the, you know, uh, uh, so we say the proposed. Okay. You know, but as you know, sounds exciting. Yeah, it's in the can. Things you know, but definitely. Every day. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Things change every day. Exactly. Just you like know, in the hospital. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But definitely the the pink transcript. Uh, it, it's quite uh, different, you know, because as, that's a funded project. So that um, we will advertise. You know, yeah. and on Facebook, and, and we'll, you know, we'll invite everyone to join, actually. Okay. So, that's great. Great news, great news. So, yeah. what's one realization during this pandemic? Oh, one realization, you know what? Yeah. For me, life is unpredictable. Yeah. You know, that uh, for me... You cannot, you know, before before the pandemic, it's easy to say, oh, next month I'll, I'm, I'm going to book myself. I'm going back to the Philippines, you know, things like yeah. that. Or next month yeah. we're going this. But, you know, when the pandemic, when the pandemic came in, in Parabang, life stopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, that's my experience. Like, uh, life... And then you have to value simple things. You know, there, there are things that you realize money cannot buy. You know, but for me, realization, that's it, that uh, it's very difficult to plan ahead. And there's no point of worrying. Yeah, okay. You know, why worry? You know, let's just live today. And if tomorrow you're alive, well, thank God. You know? Praise the Lord. Yeah. You know, it's... And even now, look, you know, you really don't know. So it's almost like a reset button. Right? Yeah, reset that's what people button. call it now. It's a reset button. Pandemic's a reset button. Yeah, yeah, reset your priorities, reset your outlook. 
you know who you are and things like that but as a, for me it's it's quite difficult really to unlike before we can plan ahead no it's so nice but this thing is totally different you know and yeah social distancing and things like that you know it has a, a big effect even for myself because as you know i am you know i'm working from home okay yeah you know so it's quite tough so we have uh, viewers right now who uh, uh, probably would like to experience cheddar art. So what would you advise to them? <laughs> to all well, those there, bobbing I, thespians or artists, cheddar artists, those who want I, to experience I, it. What, what kind of advice uh, are you talking about, Jeremy? Um, if they want to join the, uh, a cheddar group, like Philippine Chatter you or to experience the magic of uh Chatter art. Oh, I see. Well, I think everyone knows naman that if you if they want to uh, to join the theater, they can they can contact us on Facebook. You know, um at the moment that is the quickest way. And that's what we get all uh invites actually. Um sometimes we get the students eh? Yeah. Or teachers, you know, they they're asking about who we are. So they just get in touch with Philippine Theatre UK, and if if they are in the Philippines, they can get in touch with Teatro uh, Pilipinas through our images for Gusino. So again, we also have a, a website. You know, um, so basically that's it. They they just have to get in touch with the you know uh, through Facebook. Or anyone whom they know who's a member of the theater. And exactly. Just yeah. just go out there, isn't it? If they want to yeah, experience it, don't wait for another year. Just just do it when the when the opportunity comes, because you'll never know. It will be locked down uh, again. <laughs> well, actually, you're right, Ibana. <laughs> <laughs> just go for it. Whatever you plan to do. <laughs> you, you you never know what you know yeah, what happens. Yeah. Exactly. At the yeah. moment. Uh, everyone's asking me, like, oh, do we have a production next month, next month? It's very difficult, no, to, to say there's a production because we, at the moment, we are on the mercy of, you know, of the government, Diba. Right? If the government yeah. says, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, so they are. So at the moment, like July 4, you know. Yes, uh, July 4. <laughs> July 4, there'll be some freedom, but theater is not part of it, you know. Theater, indoor gyms, you know, still they cannot uh, yeah. open for business. So from that point, uh, I, I feel sad, you know, because it's not only us, but think about the West End. Yeah. You know, even Cameron uh, Macintos. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You know, everyone, I mean, I've, I've read uh, articles of the... Uh, of, uh, uh, listen to some, you know, actors who about the effect of this whole problem, you know, in you know, in, in in the theater. So it's quite sad, really, you know. So we don't know, we don't know what's going to happen. But I think we we should see theater not as for me. Yeah, and I think we should continue. We should not see theater as like the West End. Mm -hmm. no, uh, I mean, theater can can happen at, 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 at anywhere. I mean, now we can use this technology. Yes. Exactly. You know. and, and that then brings me. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That brings me. Let's give them. A, we have a surprise for them, right? Shall we do uh, it? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Well, the, well like, good, the good news is, just like what you've said, we can do chatter anywhere. It doesn't have yeah. to be in a specific place. It's just like praying, mm -hmm. right? We can pray anywhere. Yeah, and I was <laughs> talking to a friend of mine last week, no, and I said, you know what? We, you can, you, a lot of theater companies in the past, yes. Jeremy, I'm sure you're aware of it. They started theater in their backyards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. So I think anyone who's listening or watching, we can still do theater, you know, if you have a big a big backyard or if you know a, 
a, a, a church hall, you, you know, you can have uh, still, you know, two meters, uh, yeah. you know, uh, distance. Theater in the park. <laughs> so sit in the park. Theater in the park. Yeah, theater, theater in the garden. Yeah. I mean, no one should stop us, no? I think it's just the thinking that people think when you say theater, it's West End. No, yeah. no, uh, yeah. that, that, that's that's wrong, you know? Theater is a, commu is a communal activity. You know, you, wow. you, you can have five, five, ten people. You, you know, because now the lockdown has, you know, is different, but so you cannot yeah. invite. Yeah. You know? So I think uh, you 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 might um, or, or we might expect that kind of uh, experience. Yeah. I think there will be because this is how theater started not in the 1900s. Mm -hmm. You know, small groups, yeah. not big ones, small groups, yeah. and that's how it started and it sprouted like a mushroom. You know, to, to what we have now. Yeah. So I think that uh, there is a movement now. There's a move. Our, you know, theater will start again. Something like this, you know, like a private invitation, ten people, you know, things like that. You know, I think it's because in this country, theater is part of the culture. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I will, I will not be surprised, you know, if this kind of approach in theater will come back. You know, because remember, exactly. It's not, exactly. You don't need big audience. You know, exactly. It's the love for arts that will actually push you. That's very inspiring. So let's do it, Derek. Okay, we so... Have, yeah, we have watched, we have a lot of uh, viewers right now. So let's give them chatter, a bit, little bit of chatter. <laughs> Impromptu one. Exactly. Okay. Well, actually, okay. Okay, so let me say... You are, you are, the are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, those yes. who are watching, those who are watching, um, just you want to give you guys... Up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jeremy played uh, one of the key actors in Migrants, the movie. Okay, uh, he was the baddie. <laughs> he was the he was the bad guy there. So uh, I said to Jeremy uh, this afternoon, "Why don't we have uh, an excerpt? Why not from your scene? You know, and uh, I said, oh, no, that's, yeah, <laughs> the challenge, you no." Know? The okay. challenge. So, this is actually in English, and this is actually uh, Jeremy's uh, role as Hector. Hector. In, in in the movie, remember that Jeremy? Yeah, Hector. You're Hector. So, to our listeners and viewers, uh, this is one of the highlight of the movie or the film. It's the conversation between Hector, uh, who is the right hand. Of Tomas. Tomas is uh, a leader of um, of a group, you know, renegade group. See Tomas. Now Tomas' right hand is Hector, played by Jeremy. Okay, so Jeremy did something really bad because uh, Jeremy, uh, the character Hector. He told he told the police, the government, <laughs> about the um, planned uh, revolution uh, that Tomas was uh, preparing. Yeah, no. So it was Hector who actually um, gave away um, the the planned revolution. So there's a big drama between. Hector and Tomas and their best friends. Okay, okay, Jeremy, are you ready? Have yeah. You, have you emote? Kilangana, emote, emote. <laughs> okay, so so Jeremy will read his character, which is Hector, and I will read the character of Tomas. I am the leader of the group. Jeremy, uh, Hector is my right hand. So that's you, Jeremy. Okay, so this is only a very, very short excerpt. Okay, so uh, here comes the soldier. The soldier comes to the scene. And then uh, they found out it was Hector who told the soldiers and the government officials 
about the planned revolution and to prove that he made this uh, big big mistake he was caught you know uh, talking to the government officials okay so this is hector talking to the government officials okay jeremy in three two one i told you he's here his friend who provides financial assistance to the alliance just arrived from england is there too he is here to give more financial aid and to make sure the revolution is a success the mass hits hector <laughs> Why? How could you do this to me? You son of a bitch! Answer me! Is this how you're going to repay me after all the things I've done for you and your family? Why have you done this to us, to me? I fucking trusted you. I founded this alliance. I am the rightful leader, not you. Yes, you did. But the people chose me. You lost in the election, but I made you my right hand, man. What else do you want? The people chose you because you have someone who provides financial assistance to the Alliance. That is not true. You lost. I won. Why can't you accept that? You will never be the leader of this Alliance. I, Hector Gomez, is the real leader and founder of this alliance. The alliance doesn't need people like you, traitor. Moron! You stole the leadership from me. You must die! Stop. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and now the best actor goes to... <laughs> so, <laughs> that's <laughs> the film, <laughs> no, it's, it's, um... Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. You know, if there's mm -hmm. one play that... Um, among all your plays, I would like to be in migrants, like a stage play, not the film. But, yeah. uh, you know, because uh, as what, for me, uh, I prefer live, uh, like live theater as well, rather than the film. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, uh, things happen and, you know, the, the feel is different. Especially when, mm -hmm. uh, you know what my favorite part is? What? The anchor, you know, <laughs> when everybody goes out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Then you bow. That gives me a goosebump. <laughs> Can I just say something about this play, you know, My Grants, you know, because we call it the play that won't go away, you know. Mm -hmm. When it was first shown in the Philippines uh, by, it was actually my batch mate, no, from Judge mm -hmm. Luna High School, batch 81. They helped me, a group, uh, produce this. And as you know, all proceeds went to our alma mater. Uh, there was, uh, um, I was shocked, shocked, Jeremy, because all the members, you know, the actors, goodness me, you know, they memorized the line and they actually um, reproduce exactly the script of migrants here. Mm -hmm. So the, the exact script, word for word. So you can imagine that. And remember in migrants, there was the, the rape scene on the stage. Yeah, yeah. You know, actually, I was told by one of the by the principal. I uh, said, Derek, uh, not to, not you know, not too hard on the rapes <laughs> because there were students, and you know, <laughs> uh, can you also, are uh, you the f word things like that? Yeah. You know, and I said, you know, and I said to the teachers, that makes it realistic. So, isn't it? <laughs> well, that is no so. Look, the play was produced in London, mm. you know, so therefore, if you want to have that feeling, well, you have to memorize like how the actors in London did it. You know, why are you ashamed to say the F word? You know, this is only a play. <laughs> you see the teachers they, and the students, you know, like, you know, gasping, like, you know, things like that. And, and then, yeah, it was first shown in May. 
And then mm -hmm. it was shown again after a couple of months to a bigger stage. And this is actually, I haven't told you, uh, the plan again is to bring migrants next year because Teatro de Filipinas, we, we realized, Jeremy, the impact of migrants mm -hmm. to the Filipino audience. I think because yes. of the, you know, the relationship, because it's about uh, people working abroad, no? Yeah, so exactly. We, yeah. We, we have a lot, a lot of Filipinos that can empathize with the play. So it was really a big hit. So the management of Teatro Filipinas, with the help of uh, managing director uh, Remedios, they we decided to bring migrants again next year, but not in Manila. We might bring it to Iloilo or Davao. Wow. Or to different parts of, of, of the Philippines because of the impact of the story, because it we were just surprised. So as you said, you know, you like to be in the play. Who knows, you know, if the if the plan pushes through next year, you know, uh, you can come in, you know, don't be, you'll be, okay, I'll ask you a question. If you will be in Migrants, which character would you like to do? Hmm. <laughs> which character? Yeah. Hmm. I think Tomas. Ah, oh, good. Tomas. <laughs> uh, Tomas. I don't know. There's just a lot of uh, drama behind his life, you know. Mm. Yeah. It is in also a lot of people say it, it's like it's a timeless play. I'm sorry, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm blowing my trumpet here, but a lot of people are saying that my grand because look, it's been what at almost ten years. Mm -hmm. But migrants is still, you know, it's like it's a timeless, timeless play that whenever you want to produce it, it still, you know, will will be appreciated. You know? I think even here in London, in the UK, you know, if you bring it back again, I think people will watch it. You yeah. know, but uh, like, but no, the, the plan really uh, is to take migrants again in the Philippines, but in 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 Iloilo, the Vow. Or even Baguio, you, you, you know, and then uh, what our plan as well is to use local talents. Yeah, yeah. You know, so we'll bring, of course, the key actors. That's the beauty now because there is the theater group. So you have the support, but also we will train local actors. Yeah. The province or the school, what have you. So in that way, we're able to. Uh, discover new talents and you know in part to the less fortunate you know what theater arts is all about exactly you all know and don't forget that we don't get any financial reward so we give back uh, to charity sorry we give back to charity you know that and exactly. remember yeah. Yeah, yeah, every yeah. every production it go you know um, we 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 are the one who give money back to you know to to, to people out there to, to help. Them. Exactly, yeah. Using our talent to uh, give back to the world. Good. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, direct. I think we have um, the reason why we were uh, we started late as well is because we have uh, listeners and viewers from the Philippines, right? So let's Ooh, greet them. Yeah. Uh, can you actually see them or in your yeah, screen? Yeah, there's a there's a there's a comment here from the majors. For Gusino, she says, I would love to see you do Thomas Jeremy. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Atre Major. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, it, All right. Actually, so, let, so happy viewing to that. everybody there in the Philippines, uh, Chatro Filipinas. Let's greet them, uh, Derek Ramon. Yeah. Who else? Uh, now we have Grace Marcelo. Mm -hmm. Go is watching as it's actually a good friend of mine, Bats81. Who else? There's also Cora Borja. Mm -hmm. Oh, Karen. Wow. Kar Karen actually is a friend of this, is a friend who's watching. Hello, Karen. Karen Kropowski, wow. who else here? You know, Sino ba? Pina and... Manuel, my sister, Socorro. Who else, Jeremy? Uh... Is there anyone there? Maria. 
Leonor Saiz Nieva, Brad Worse, <laughs> Eric. Oh, Eric. <laughs> yeah, Remedios uh, Fulgusino, Maria Socorro Pangan Pagdanganan, um, yeah, Mark Barton, of course, Rogelio Braga, Emelita Balikot, Welsi Maranan Maghopoy, Susenden, Marianette Miranda, Anilu Le uh, Hernandez Leiva, Patrick Tenyoso Pagdanganan, Juan Tenyoso, Lani. Okay, Patrick is from ano, Saudi. He's watching from Saudi. Wow. We got viewers from the Sin, Yeah, and Sue Sinden is uh, yeah. our uh, local counselor in Red Hill. Yeah, wow. This watching. Happy viewing. Then, <laughs> Thank you very Ophelia much. Ophelia Tenyos is from Davao. That's yeah. Richard Sasa, mm -hmm. a friend of ours. See, si yeah. Rogelio Braga, Jeremy, as mm -hmm. you can see his name. Um, he is the one. He's a key... Uh, um, element or uh, key person in in the pink transcript project uh, uh -oh. with Kanlong, that's Augie. That's Hello, you know, happy watching. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who we else have, is there? We have Julie Bianzon, Asta Singh, Jimson Robino, Alain de Maguila from the Philippines. Thank you for watching. Oh. Abby Bogali, oh, Aginton, Sun Akosali, John that's Susan. That's Susan. That's Susan uh, Cueva. <laughs> oh wow! Happy happy watching po, Jan Villegas, mm -hmm. uh, Eric Bon Pareño, Fred Luces. Thank you for watching. Ati Mila Marcelo, Arseno, our managing Ador, director. Uh, Ador is watching as well. Yes, from the U.S. From yeah, the U.S. Um, Noemi Lamson, Ch Ch China Chang, Alex Morgan. Yes, Cora. My cousin, uh, my cousin from Phil. Australia. Wow. Ray Hamilton, uh, yeah, and Ray Hamilton is watching from Australia. Paul Sadaya is from Canada. Paul, wow. you know, he's watching. And of course, we have Susan Lovejoy. We're international. <laughs> We're international. We have yeah. Sumi Maharjan, Eugene Arcilla from Kamao in Oxford. Ayetondo, Molly Walker, Helmer Lagan, Susan Lovejoy, Gerald Dinatabio, Athena, Gracias Alcantara. Thank you for watching. Attorney, Attorney Diaz, thank you for watching. Hope one you connect. Uh, Gay Lopez Gonzalez, one of our members. Julius Maristela, si Manoy. Thank you for watching. Julius, Maria Socorro no. Pagdanganan. Hello, Janet Julius. Aino, Ross Manocilio, Shana Antonio, uh, Brad One Cent, uh, Alvin Bulo, Patrick Reyes, Kelly Gross, Grace Beltran Manalo, Pina Manuel, one of our uh, members. Kalungan. Oh, no, Kalungan. Uh, yeah, yeah, but they changed their name now. Uh, Ronald Balacanao, Brad Wurst, uh, Lisa, Richie Lisa Bino, Darmin Balarinon, and Noli Erejano. Thank you all for watching, and that's uh, all that we got time for, Derek. And thank you for uh, being our special guest for tonight. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Jera, uh, one last word before we uh, end this. Just want to ask everyone mm -hmm. if they want to uh, join, you know, yep. this collaborative work of PTUK uh, with. Kanlungan on the pink transcript, you know, mm -hmm. it's uh, an LGTB Southeast Asian um, uh, production uh, exploring racism, um, social exclusion, violence, uh, discrimination, you know, by you know by by the LGTB people, but also their friends, and um, we will explore these issues through theater arts. Okay, there may be workshops, uh, um, storytelling, uh, monologues, and the end product, of course, is a, a, a theater production. Okay, so that is uh, the, the, the project uh, of uh, Philippine Theater UK and Kanduman Filipino Consortium. And we will announce, uh, we will have an open invitation, I would say, I think this month or next month. Eh? Yeah. When everything course, goes back slowly to normal. Exactly. And of course, <laughs> without a mask, social distancing. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, that's it. You know. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank Jeremy. You. Thank you very much, Jeremy. For Have this a good night. Have a good night. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Thank you very much. More wow. power to Philippine Cheddar UK. More power to you, direct. Cheddar Filipinas. Yes, and well. And Cheddar Filipinas. Yes. To all the, yeah, those you. who are watching. Yeah, to our family and friends watching the Thespians, 
Yes. You know, thank you. I know in Manila, PTUK, it's five o'clock yeah. there. Yep, all the PTUK members watching and uh, yeah. chat to Filipinas. Yeah, and our friends uh, around the world, you know, I know it's five o'clock in the morning in the Philippines, no? It must be six o'clock now. Six o'clock now, yeah. So thank you very much, you know, guys, for, you know, getting up early and uh, watching uh, this program. And again, Jeremy, well done. Well thank done. you, thank, thank you. you. Well done to direct. Thank you. And for our friends for here in all of us. London. Yeah, for our friends in the for UK. For spreading the beauty of uh, Cheddar Arts. And you. thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, thank and you very much. Good night God bless, and God good bless. evening. Yeah. Good morning. Good God morning. bless. God bless. Thank you, thank you. Thank you all. Bye. Bye-bye. There you go, Derek Ramontenoso. Thank you for your time. And thank you, everyone, from the bottom of my heart for sticking around. Uh, we have a lot of viewers from around the world. Uh, Canada, um, Australia, Philippines, of course, Middle East. Thank you very much. Um, what? Uh, I'm not drinking anything. I'm just drinking water. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so thank you, everyone. For all those who uh, who stayed with us until this time, and of course, I would like to uh, say thank you, uh, Hudio. Hudio is the one who designed my logo. You can see there the J on my forehead and the germination. Uh, if you have any computer software problems, uh, you need graphic designer uh, logos for your business. Uh, who get in touch with Hudio? And of course, I would like to promote my deep cleansing and uh, skin renewal device, my Lumispa. I always use this one twice a day. If you want one of this, just get in touch with me. And of course, I never go without my nutritional supplements from Pharmanex, especially during these times of COVID. You need your antioxidants to be at the maximum to give your body at least a fighting chance against this COVID. And of course, I would like to thank uh, chest, chest Narbonita Cruz uh, for my personalized mask. Look, that's my personalized mask. The logo, germination or the germinator. And that's the one, germination. So if you want your personalized mask, obviously the design or logo design was designed by Hujo, but the mask was done by, made by Chess, that's C-H-E-Z, Narbonita Cruz. So you can, uh, if you want your personalized mask. So that's all we got time for. And thank you, everyone. And let's see. I rage against the trials of love. I curse the fading of the light. Though she's already flown so far beyond my reach, she's never out of sight. Now I know she'll never leave me Even if she fades from view She will still inspire me Be a part of everything I do Wasted in my lonely tower Waiting by an open door I'll fool myself, she'll walk right in And as the long, long nights begin I'll think of all that might have been Waiting here for God bless everyone and thank you. See you again tomorrow.